All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're here, we just checked out Ultra Violent by Spirit Box. We're checking out the new EP together. Um, we're jumping right into Angel Eyes, so we'll just keep it short and sweet. We got Chestnut Pralines. Show me yours. I was coming. <laughs> and we're enjoying this morning with Spirit Box. So uh, we're getting right into Angel Eyes. Ultra Violent caught us by surprise, and it was super soft and a beautiful song, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I felt like I was sucked into that song. I was... Uh... I was thinking that because it was so soft, there would be like a massive like vocal breakdown. And then I just was like the whole time. And then it was over and I was like, I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, uh, we're going to check out Angel Eyes now. And that's what we were talking about. We love about Spirit Box. You never know what you're going to get. So I sound like Forrest Gump, but. <laughs> Spirit Box is Spirit box is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's hit it. Angel Eyes. <laughs> That's the wake up. Totally different than what we just listened to. I tell you what, Courtney's vocal range is. Creepy noises. Build back up. Go heartbreak. Those slow breakdowns. Back in it. As Angel Eyes, guys, that was killer. Ugh. I don't know which one's my favorite as of now, though, you know? They're so different. Yeah. And also, <laughs> too, like, I like a spirit box because you always get, like, a little bit of vibe. Like, Rotoscope gave me some, like, new metal vibes, but then some of these breakdowns give me some, like, like deathcore vibes. And then some of those stuff gives me a little metalcore vibe. Like, especially some of those breakdowns. And we just seen Body Snatcher with We Car, and, like, those slow breakdowns. Mm -hmm. like from body snatcher and stuff like it, when you're there it makes you want to punch a baby I can't really say that. sorry 
But like, I have never in my life wanted to punch a baby. I'll just go for that. It makes I, you, I might want to punch him. It makes you want to punch a fierce animal. I'll punch a lion right in the... There you go. I'll punch a lion right in the teeth. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, it's fu- It's brutal. And yeah. it's good. It makes you want to... It gives you. It gives me goosebumps. So, And that's what I was getting with that breakdown on, the, on those slow breaks on this song. Yeah. So. Courtney, man... It's crazy because I wasn't a huge I Wrestled a Bear once fan. You know? I liked I Wrestled a Bear once. I saw them. Um, God, I think I saw them at the brewery oh, wow. in Raleigh when it was still a thing. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> a little baby venue. Um, yeah. I that, liked her. Yeah, well, that's what's cool, too, is that like I like seeing these bands or these people that are in bands and then they exit that band and then start a new project or end up in a new project like Kayla with Beartooth mm-hmm. and, and see them really take off, you know? Yeah. It's pretty awesome. It's wild. So, like, you know, it's like uh, Dave Girl. Look at the Foo Fighters. Yeah. A little bit different he scenario. He was in two big bands. <laughs> <laughs> Both of his bands were pretty big. Right. But just <laughs> a little different scenario. That's a bad comparison. Don't listen to us, guys. All right. Let's move on. What's next? Uh, we're going to check out the last song. Too Close, Too Late. Too Close, Too oh, Late. Really? And, uh, I have no idea where we're going in this direction. But well, come check it out. They dropped both of those yesterday? Yeah, everything dropped since Friday. Wow. So they did so. one Friday, two yesterday. Nice. And we were out without internet for a while, so. Yeah. Anyways, check us out over there. We'll see you at Too Close, Too Late. All right, bye.